In this video, I am going to show how we can determine the fixed end moments due to a trapezoidal load. For background information on the approach, please review lecture SA30. We start by taking a simply supported beam and placing the trapezoidal load on it. Why? Because we want to calculate the beam's rotation at its ends. We are going to employ the virtual work method for this purpose. So, first we calculate the support reactions. Then, we write the moment equations for the beam. To determine the slope at the left end of the beam, we place a unit moment at that end and write the resulting moment equations for the beam. The slope at A equals to the integral of the product of the two moment expressions divided by EI. This gives us a slope of negative 88.9 over EI. To determine the slope at the right end of the beam, we place a unit moment at B and write the resulting moment equations for the beam. Then, we integrate the product of the two moment expressions over EI in order to determine the slope. The slope at B comes out to be 101.5 over EI. Now that we have the two slope values, we substitute them in the slope deflection equations to determine the fixed end moments.